Hello, welcome back to BS Life. Today, uh, I'm gonna take a look at this add-on called Dream UV from Look Bars. So, and this Dream UV basically it's a tool set of for UV uh, UV mapping. And there is one part that's actually interesting for me is actually the one down here called Hot Spotting. Um, so there are a lot of tools that can help you with UVing. You should give it a try. But hotspotting is uh, super interesting because you basically you provide it with some kind of atlas, uh, atlas of island to map, and then whatever your three D objects like, it will try to map the island and then closely matching the island. So in this case, if you have a lot of squares, these squares can easily match this. It's like adaptive adaptive UVing uh, you need to start with some kind of atlas which uh, just like this object here the plane and this is the final objects right so so I, I tried this last night and this is what I came out with so the original was actually just a simple cone and I extruded a little bit but the rest of them is almost like automatic I mean, I, I can get this kind of detailed look. So let's uh, let's take a look at this very quickly. I'm gonna delete this file. Say s eleven, and we have these two objects that I play with. But this is the original object, and if you look at it from the top view, this is the the, the reference for the atlas. Okay, so this object has been subdivided uh, just like this Mondrian thing. I could actually subdivide this a little bit more. Oops. It's opening, ah, it's opening this. Okay. Let's go to the... This, and let's do loop cut, right? And... Let's cut it somewhere here. Okay, okay. Okay. So I, I do that actually manually for the whole simple plane. And this is the blender one unit size. Actually two unit for the plane. And I just need to now provide an object. So I will actually use the cone exactly. I will have uh, depth of two. Okay, this is not this is blender cone, right? I will actually use sphere chop nodes cylinder. Let's see if this works. So this sphere chop cylinder I can simplify, and I can keep the cap and change the radius so we have something that's a bit like a cone so this let's subdivide more so i'm happy with this maybe make sure it's calculating the normal doesn't need to be smooth shade uh, show edges no need okay so i'm done so now we want to do the hot spotting thing so I already have the the add-on being installed. Preference add-on uh, job actually Dream UV. So Dream UV by Bram, and we can actually hide this. So this is the UV. I'm gonna assign the same material so we have no UV at the moment so it's not showing anything so now let's go to the edit view we have this dream UV panel with all the tools uh, for doing UV 
you can actually rotate very easily as well it's pretty cool so we have hotspot here if I just hit hotspot it's already doing something so we already have something that's quite decent actually quite interesting so the next thing we want to do we want to add some kind of details oh by the way when running the hotspots from what I notice don't don't have this sync if you have this sync uh, it's not gonna work make sure it's only selecting here not selecting here as well so let's say I want to add some kind of details around here so I'm selecting four faces and then click on hotspot suddenly it's selecting the nearest uh, the closest face island right you can click many many times and it's gonna cycle and randomly select pick between two we already have some kind of something that looks like detail and yeah if you actually starting to add slicing etc it's gonna start to look a little bit more interesting and I, I can select using C so so far of course we only have like square-ish island so X hit X hotspot and if you have like overlap that's that's kind of okay as well it's gonna it's gonna select it I found this to be quite meditative very interesting kind of workflow I have seen a couple of different UV techniques this one is so far surprisingly interesting okay so when it's touching it doesn't look too convincing right yeah that's kind of okay and it's a little bit funny but uh, let's say for the top field for the top part um, we can perhaps extrude an inset so look, let's do an inset and then extrude down and at this point we want to be able to texture this part as well so so I think I'm holding option shift to select this area oh well hot spot it select this part oh, if I can okay hot spot yeah all right so yeah so so far so good and you can actually adding splitting and extruding like a proper extruded extrusion as well oh let's let's try actually look cut so I'm adding loop cut there so we have more face area island oops to select let's randomly select this part hotspot This part, for example, I'm gonna insert and insert again. Second time with that going in, and then not spot it.
you see how it fits it fits all of them fits into this uh, reference atlas and I'm testing it actually with a displacement as well so I use displacement create new texture show texture in the texture tab we have this texture tab and I'm just assigning the atlas so before this displacement we want to give a subdivision modifier and let's reduce this displacement increase this subdivisions that maybe turn on simple maybe just a little bit and subdivide again at the bottom if you want maybe in this case we want to shade smooth and we want to perhaps add a bevel up there we don't need subdivision at the bottom but this bevel might be better at the top ah. but you can see uh, okay this is we need to use UV okay now it's looking better we cannot push too far but we can push a little bit so this is the result just by using the this feature uh, hotspot call hotspot from dream UV um, yeah I think this can be quite useful actually it's a I, I found it similar to adaptive polygon of tissue add-on where it's adapting you uh, you provide some kind of donor for the face and then you're adapting that details for that particular face except that it's doing this with UV on UV level and yeah this is super cool add-on to do it you can actually now bake this as the normal if you want to keep it flat and you can play around with the shadow so you can fake some of this detail normal and your texture atlas this is the one that's provided this is sample uh, from Bram uh, you, can, you can make your own and you simply applying it I mean it works with any kind of works any with any objects it works with Suzanne as well of course just hotspot it and it's gonna put Suzanne uh, like this is Suzanne's eyes you can manually selecting it if you like Let's see if I can select some areas I cannot select any edge look but I can select I can actually randomly select the area. It doesn't need to be square. And if you want to be very clear, I think you can have the seam showing up. So you can F3 and then seam. Seams for island. Seam from island. You can do the same here. Seams from island. So you can see the edge of the seam of the island. This can be super handy. Maybe you want to have different atlas layout. Uh, look, if for yeah, I'm doing this manually, but I believe you can also select every other face procedurally, but. I'm selecting it like that anyway. Hot spot. Wait a few seconds. It's gonna try to find and adapt. It's a bit slower if I'm selecting multiple phrases, but uh, maybe because I have subdivisions in this place.
Yeah, maybe that's the only thing that's to be noted. And Suzanne already had hot spotting happening. It's, uh, it's creating this believable kind of like rugged metal look. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just testing it out. Hopefully you find this useful. Um, maybe you can find out more about this Dream UV. Maybe Bram will create his own video for this. But thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.